style termination is used in several of the Siemens Company product lines, including the CT6 series, both angled and flat, all Max series modules, both angled and flat, and the HD6 series patch panels. All styles are compatible with both T568A and B wiring options. The S310 blocks feature a pyramid Y entry system that helps separate conductors when racing in cable. In any standard single position 110 style termination tool may be used. Rear protective termination caps will accommodate any four pair flat or round cable types for both rear and side entry applications. The cap design allows for installation onto the cable before or after termination. Start by stripping back approximately 50 to 60 millimeters or 2 to 3 inches of cable jacket using the Seaman All Prep tool or equivalent. Although round cable is shown here, flat cable may also be used. If a pair separator or rib cord is present, remove with snips close to the jacket being careful not to nick the conductors. There is no need to untwist pairs except for bonded pairs since the 310 block includes the pyramid features to facilitate wire lacing. View the color-coded label on the module to determine proper location of conductors based upon the preferred wire scheme. For additional stability and protection, the palm guard and or palm guard insert can be used for the CT6 and Max series modules. Because of the small design with the Max module series, it is highly recommended that the palm guard insert be used with these modules. Note that the palm guard insert can be used alone or in conjunction with the palm guard itself. Fan out the conductors based on the desired wiring scheme. Depending on the cable and manufacturer, it may be necessary to cross over two of the pairs for proper orientation. When terminating the Max series modules, insert the module into the palm guard insert. Center the cable jacket down into the 310 block as shown here. Lace all pairs by pressing firmly into position. Optionally, two pairs can be terminated first to help secure the cable before lacing the final two pairs. Terminate the conductors using the Siemens S814 termination tool or equivalent. To prevent damage to the thinner side walls of the S310 block, be certain the blade is in line and not angled as shown here before impacting. If the blade angle is not carefully controlled during impact, in extreme cases, the side wall and contact may end up damaged and unusable. Note that it might be helpful to slightly angle the blade side of the tool as shown here to assist in termination. It is also recommended to use the low impact setting to maximize module stability during termination. Inspect the terminations to verify all conductors are seated properly. Also verify the edge of the cable jacket is down into the 310 block as shown here. Finally, slide the termination cap onto the cable and snap into place 
prior to testing. Use of the cap ensures that the conductors are fully seated and provides a degree of strain relief. But care should be taken to prevent side loading, particularly at the patch panel when dressing in cable bundles. For mounting locations with limited rear clearance, tilt the cable 90 degrees to the side as shown and lace as described previously. Note that modules cannot be side stacked if side entry is used. Cap removal can be accomplished by applying with a small screwdriver placed in the slot as shown here. Thank <laughs> you.